All right, so we got top 10 Call of Duty games. This is a great video. This video is by IGN, by the way, so. It's currently in a bit of a rut. Although there are bright spots in Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer and zombies mode, it ultimately feels all too familiar. And okay. the campaign, our reviewer Simon Cardi said it was. Perhaps the worst Call of Duty campaign I've played. It currently I don't think has it's the worst one. It's a Metacritic rating of 56. And unsurprisingly, Modern Warfare 3 didn't make it into IGN's top 10 Call of Duty games. Spoilers, it came bottom of the pile. Thankfully, Call of Duty has I think been they're exceptional saying this. Times, I think a lot of people are saying this. On, many it's because it's so short, bro. Is that a fruit fly? Test of time. So we're looking back to decide which Call of Duty okay. games are our absolute favorites. And we're talking about the full package. Let's campaign, go. Multiplayer, zombies, everything. Oh, they're talking about the, the full everything on all the games, and okay. you're about to find out why we picked what we picked. And after, well, I'm biased, sure so I will say Modern Warfare Three is number one. Favorites in the comments. Below. I'm biased. I know. I'm sorry. Like the old Modern Warfare Three, like the original, and then I will say Black Ops Two is definitely top three. Black Ops Two is definitely top three. Black Ops Cold? They got Call Black Ops Cold Black War. Ops Cold War sets okay. itself apart from other entries in the legendary franchise by how much it excels when your gun is actually holstered. Okay. While Call of Duty is obviously known for its world-class shootouts with explosions around every corner and edge of your seat moments, Black yeah. Ops Cold War added another wrinkle to that formula. The campaign takes place during the most critical moments of the Cold War, and we get time to learn about our covert ops crew at our safe house and sneak around KGB headquarters as a Russian double agent. These moments are quiet in the best ways, and they make the louder ones even more Okay, impactful. I mean, on, honestly, multiplayer felt I, I'll give short, it to him. I wasn't really um, thinking about sure, anything for, for top content, 10. But it provided highly I'm thinking of, my, uh, of like my top three, though. We still think, about today. think about your top three right now. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, by the way. I didn't tell you guys that. Make sure you guys subscribe. There were some big issues with... Now, I never pause the video. But this is disrespect. IGN, I love you. I love you like you're my sibling. But this is disrespect. We all know Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. It's not at the... I never pause the video. I never... Y'all... 2023's I never pause the video. You know something's wrong with that when Duty I pause the video. Modern Warfare 3 did a great job of iterating no. and improving on what came before. No. It's multiplayer added new elements How, such no, as weapon progression, Y'all cannot disrespect my game like this. And more. But what it did best was create one of the most compelling and addicting Call of Duty multiplayer experiences ever made The multiplayer, the survival mode... The campaign mode? was fun enough. And the even campaign? though it wasn't one of our favorites, it had the amazing set pieces and wow moments that made the franchise so popular. It was also the conclusion of one of the most beloved call of duty trilogies ever and that in itself was another reason it was worth the admission at price. eight no we're putting this thing at oh no 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 mayday 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 Mayday, Mayday, do I have a heartbeat? Mayday, Mayday, do I have a heartbeat? What is this? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Am I reading this right? Wait a minute, I think I'll put it in there. Cause it is, it is, it's late, I didn't go to sleep yet. It's like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Yeah, you know, the grind never stops. But listen, well, wait a minute. Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> Whoever put Call of Duty Black Ops 2 at number 8, come here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in, bro. Come into this room, bro. Yeah, oh, oh, why am I closing the door? Oh, don't ask me why I'm closing the door, bro. Come here. Yeah. Let me close the door and we're going to run our fade, bro. We're going to, bro, we're going to fight, bro. For real. I'm not even, <laughs> I know I'm laughing, right? But I'm not laughing. This, bro, come on, bro. Y'all cannot disrespect. This is ridiculous. Come on. Come on, bro. Even people that don't even play Call of Duty know who, what, know what Black Ops 2 is. Come on, even the girls, even the, bro, 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 I know women play video games, but bro, even back then, 
right? When 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 a lot of girls didn't play uh, play as much video games as, as guys, they knew what bro. They knew 2K, they knew Madden, and they knew Black Ops 2. They knew Grand Theft Auto, bro. Even girls back then that didn't even play video games knew what Black Ops 2 is. Bro. I can't even talk. I'm in disbelief. I'm destroyed. I'm destroyed. This is ridiculous. IGN. IGN. I love you. For real. IGN. I love you. I've been watching IGN for years, bro. This this uh, preposterous. This is this is, bro. Hey, hey, I'm about to, hey, hey, what Drake say? I'm about to I'm about to bro, this is ridiculous. I've never hey. Oh my god, I'm over here sitting. I, I'm I'm about to play the video. I never pause the video. I, I told y'all, I never paused the video. But listen, this is ridiculous. I'm over here thinking, oh, my top three, all oh, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3. Y'all put my favorites back to back at the bottom end? Is that what we're doing, IGN? Bars? We need to fight. IGN, me and you. Hey, whoever did this list, hey, me and you uh, fighting pronto. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was notable for many reasons, including that it featured the series' first branch in narrative and arsenal of futuristic weaponry. While it continued the Cold War era story from the original Black Ops, it also took us to 2025 to experience a whole new Cold War that centered on Alex Mason's son, David. No! Oh, I mean, and don't forget that I Raul Mendez is one of the best villains in the entire franchise. Mendez is a villain. Black True. Ops 2's multiplayer also had a few well, not firsts mine. like the pick 10 system and score streaks. Add in a welcome level of depth and customization to the experience. Throw in its zombies mode, which was the perfect laugh-filled alternative to the campaign and multiplayer. And Black Ops 2 is still a standout Call of Duty so what's game better than over this? a decade later. Oh! I'm about to become a school threat and it's not even funny. I'm about to become a school threat and it's not even funny. Call of Duty World at War? You're talking about one of the worst. <sighs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> y'all knew what y'all was doing, bro. This ain't even, bro. <laughs> IGN, I tell y'all all the time, bro. I love you. IGN, brother. I love you, but this is wrong. And I know this is, <laughs> I know this is opinion based, but this right here is, bro, I've never in my life ever heard somebody put, and y'all, I promise, if you're a first viewer, if you're a first time viewer, I never pause the video. I let the, I react while the video goes on. That's my style, right? That's how I do it. Bro, this is ridiculous. I've never in my life ever heard somebody put World at War over Black Ops 2. The most popular Call of Duty game ever. Black Ops 2 is the most it's, it's the most popular Call of Duty game ever because it's <sighs> Call of Duty World at War brought us back to World War II after the roaring success that was Modern Warfare's contemporary setting. But it did so in a different way. Instead no, bro, of simply this, going back hey. to Normandy and D-Day no. for the umpteenth time, the story focused on the Pacific Theater and the Red Army's reversals of the tide at Stalingrad to the fall of Berlin. The campaign was filled with a ton of close quarters combat moments, many of which were in tight, packed trenches, and for the first time let you play with up to three other friends. <laughs> oh, 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 God, there's so many. Oh. What World at War may forever be remembered for, however, was its introduction of what we now know as the Zombies Mode. Its multiplayer was also a hit as it brought in much of what made Modern Warfare great and adapted it for the era the game was set in. This ain't one, this ain't one of the worst Call of Duties. It's not one of the worst Call of Duties to me, but... Call of Duty Maybe first I was overreacting in at 2003, that point, man. At a time but y'all can, ne can never put that over Black Ops. Never. Were at the never. top of their game never. and proving what could be never. done in a World War II genre. But Call never. of Duty did a number of things that never, would immediately bro. set it apart. Never. Including choosing to I tell never do that. from the perspective of not only the United States, but also Britain and the Soviet Union. 
It also had you going into battle. I never played the original Call of Duty before. Side, I never did that. Instead of having you face the horrors of war alone, and that led to a more realistic and compelling experience. And don't forget the shell shock feature, which visually and audibly showed the dangers and consequences of large explosions and brought us closer to war than ever before. While it's obviously a little out of date 20 years on, the campaign is still fun to play and it's impossible to understate the foundation it built for the future of not just the Call of Duty series, but first person shooters as a whole. Call of Duty Black Ops took us to the 1960s Black Ops. to learn the story of CIA operative Alex Mason. From the first moments in that chair in the interrogation room to one of the best twists in the entire franchise, we couldn't get enough of the story that also had the powers of Sam Worthington, Ed Harris, and Gary Oldman. We previously ranked Black Ops' campaign Rest as Call of bro, Duty's Rest best, was a demon, and we stand bro. by it today. Black Ops' multiplayer is just as iconic, and some of the maps, I like Black Ops multiplayer. Range and Nuketown, are still favorites in 2023, as they have been brought forward multiple times. The multiplayer suite also introduced COD points, which changed how things were unlocked and made progression feel fresh again. Nazi Zombies returned too, except this time as a full-fledged mode, and they even let you play as JFK, Fidel Castro, Richard Nixon, and Robert McNamara. <laughs> there was also yeah. an unlockable mode that played like a retro art arcade version. It was all wonderful. I, I, bro, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm in disbelief, y'all. On its own, but its timing was oh my just goodness. as important. The follow-up to the original Call of Duty arrived as a launch title for Xbox 360 and demonstrated what next gen actually meant back then. While the original Call I've of Duty bro, was impressive, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so caught up on them putting Black Ops 2 led to a World War II experience eight, like I've never, never in my life. One of the most notable examples was the smoke grenades, as they were a great show. Y'all saw how confident I was. I was like. Oh, realistic Black Ops 2 is at top three. As the smoke I'm, I'm so confident. The screen, but they could also oh, be used man. tactically to get out of a tough situation. It's their, it's their decision, 2, bro. The future was here, even if the multiplayer still only allowed for eight players in a match on Xbox Live. Spoilers, we love this, modern warfare and the adoration this, extends to 20 this modern warfare, modern warfare was like a game that rebooted a classic was like that five for me it was a tough task it was like Infinity five for War me on all time call of list is like five for me campaign since the original black ops indeed the single player was packed with standout moments from going dark's non-linear stealth infiltration to clean house in which a team of SAS troops clear a pitch black terrorist hideout using night this mission goggles, was good this mission was very good second decisions to make sure it's a threat in the crosshairs and not but an under the bed under the bed modern warfare's who was playing that mission two, and try to evolve one of the most beloved multi I can't lie they, they, this game was really good bro with some nice additions the but movement the feeling of the perfect. game was very that good said, for, for me on this like game realism and the two I think I still have this game by the way great this game was good. That was good. You know what? Hey, I, I, thank you. I, I, Modern Warfare 2. Ah, oh, they played this much. Ah, oh, yep. Yep. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare and its sequel, Modern Warfare 2, are not only some of the best Call of Duty games ever, agree, agree. but also some of the best and most important games of all time. While Modern Warfare set the gold standard for what these first-person shooters could be, Modern Warfare 2 pushed it to an even higher peak. Modern Warfare we 2 talk was... about No oh Russian and the shocking revenge-filled campaign ending all day, but multiplayer is where the game truly True. shines. Yeah, oh man, multiplayer was crazy. Kill streaks and they got this right. Challenges they got this right, man. To the focus on bigger maps with a ton of players. They got to the this introduction right. of the cooperative Spec Ops maps, there was so much to love about its multiplayer mode. And the best part, it just improved on everything else we loved from Modern I Warfare. I agree. This should be at number one or number to two. tell you about next. All right. Uh, Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4? Uh, okay. 
I'll, I'll take that Call any day. Call of Duty Modern Warfare I'll 2 take that may have day. perfected this the This is the first Call of Duty I've ever played, by the way. Modern Warfare built, but new and shiny things can't always stack up to what it's like to experience something for the first this was, time. This was a good Call, Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is the perfect example of that. And oh, I remember this guy. That changed video games forever. Oh, man. This was the year that Call of Duty became the Call of Duty we know today. And it was this Call of Duty was amazing, bro. This was of a fantastic campaign and a legendary multiplayer experience. We will never forget being introduced to soap and captain price for the first oh, time wow. or when we got to jump into an ac-130 hey y'all escape you, a cargo like, ship in the middle oh of a storm oh my god this missile was iconic gillied up possibly the greatest call of duty mission ever and so much more we'll also never forget the countless hours we happily sunk into multiplayer earning yep. kill streak after kill i used to wake up really early to just play uh, this multiplayer could, finding the perfect perks and winning or losing alongside our best friends those were the days we'll never forget yeah. that is call of duty if you want to find out why this year's modern warfare 3 isn't on this list make sure to watch out call of the, uh sorry not call of duty IGN, um, I'll say this. The last two, or sorry, the, the first two, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, and Call of Duty, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, you guys got that right. I agree. Those should be one and two. Out of y'all list, those should be one and two. Um, it, it, it threw me off. It threw me off having... I've never seen anybody... If you were to walk up to any Call of Duty player... And you ask them, okay, give me your top five Call of Duty, bro. Black Ops 2 is in it, bro. That's the thing. And so I'm so used to people having that in their top five. I, it's in my top five. That's the thing. And so I'm thinking that no, there's no way nobody, you know, would put, nobody would leave Black Ops 2 out of the top five. That's what I just thought. There's no way. There's nobody, there's no way no one would do that. And today is the day. Today is the first day I've ever. Y'all, listen. If you're a first viewer, first of all, thank you for coming through. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Um, I never pause the video. Never. Never. I let the video rock as I'm talking. I let the video go as I'm talking. It, it, it's like a flow type of thing, okay? And for me to pause the video, something has to be wrong. Something, ha something has to go wrong. And, and, and it, you know, in the scheduling or or in the flow, for me to stop the video, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like it's kind of like if Taylor Swift, right, was on tour, bro, and she's performing it, right, and she sees something she don't like, cut, 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 stop the music, stop the music, right? That's that's kind of what happened right there, bro. I have never, I don't know what I thought they were gonna put at eight, but I thought there is no absolutely way they were gonna put. A Black Ops 2, a Modern Warfare 2, a Modern Warfare 3. I was already proved. Uh, I, I was already proved wrong. Two seconds into the video because they already put Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 uh, as like number nine or number ten. So other than that, man, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, shout out to IGN uh, for their Call of Duty list, and um, other than that, see you guys there for next time I'm out and peace.